Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hope you're doing well. Let us continue reading Dante's Inferno. I love it, absolutely love it. We are on canto number 20. Let us begin. Super spicy, super great. Of a new pain behooves me to make verses and give material to the twentieth canto of the first song, which is of the submerged. I was already thoroughly disposed to peer down into the uncovered depth which bathed itself with tears of agony. So, something very deep, just tears flooding, but of anguish. And people saw I through the circular valley, silent and weeping, coming at the pace which is in this world the litanies assume. As lower down my sight descended on them, wondrously each one seemed to be distorted, from chin to the beginning of the chest, for towards the reins the countenance was turned, and backward it behooved them to advance as to look forward had been taken from them, perchance indeed by violent of palsy. So violent of palsy? I had Bell's palsy once. You know when your face becomes distorted from nerve damage? Someone has been thus wholly turned awry, but I ne'er saw it, nor believe it can be. As God may let thee, reader, gather fruit from this thy reading, think now for thyself, how I could ever keep my face unmoistened. This is interesting because I have kind of a OCD of always having, like, I wash my hands, I have to put lotion on, I have to put chapstick, I have to have a moisturized body, you know? And when I see a verse like that, a stanza, whatever you want to call it, line 21, who, that itchiness, that dryness is just not going to work for me, right? It'd be totally hell, literally. When our own image near me I beheld, distorted so the weeping of the eyes, along the fissure bathed the hinder part, truly I wept, leaning upon a peak of the hard crag, so that my escort said to me, Art thou too of the other fools? Here pity lives when it is wholly dead. <laughs> who is greater reprobate than he who feels compassion at the doom divine? People use that term reprobate mind. And I haven't really understood how to use it properly. But it'd be hard not to feel compassion even for the people who are doomed. If you did not know what they did. I feel like if you know what they did and it was super bad in your own personal opinion, you'd be like, ah, oh, good, burn them. But if it's like, oh, okay, I understand. But Allah is the most wise. So whomever Allah punishes, we know Allah is swift in accounting and the most just. But we are different than Allah, right? Because we are less wise and we can't compare ourselves to Him. We are created and... We all have our unique traits and weaknesses and empathy can really take many for a route. Lift up, lift up thy head and see for whom opened the earth before the Theban's eyes. Wherefore they all cried, Whither rushest thou? Amphiaras, why dost leave the war? And downward ceased he not to fall amain as far as Minos who lays hold on all. See, he has made a bosom of his shoulders, because he wished to see too far before him. Behind he looks, and backward goes his way. Behold Teresias, who his semblance changed, when from a male a female he became, his members being all of them transformed. Ha <laughs> ha, training? What? 
and afterwards was forced to strike once more the two entangled serpents with his rod, ere he could have again his manly plumes. That's weird. That sounds occultic. You know, because the medical symbols, those two snakes, when two serpents come together, it's like they're trying to impregnate, right? Strikes them with their rod. Sounds like a like a wizarding staff. Hmm. Sounds a little bit of cultic. That Arun is, who backs the other's belly, who in the hills of Loon, Looney, where grubs. The carries whose houses underneath that one was less smooth that that those lines among the marbles white a cavern had for his abode whence to behold the stars and see the view was not cut off from him, and she there who is covering up her breasts, which thou beholdest not with loosened tresses, and on that side has all the hairy skin was manto. Who made quests through many lands, afterwards tarried there where I was born. Whereof I would thou list to me a little. After her father had from life departed, and the city of Bacchus had become enslaved, she a long season wandered through the world. Above the beauteous Italy lies a lake, at the Alps' foot that shuts in Germany, over Tyrol. And has the name Banaco. By a thousand springs, I think, and more is bathed. Twixt Garda, Val, Comunica, Penino, with water that grows stagnant in that lake. I think that line, those lines, is where you need to know the geography. Midway a place is where the Trenton pastor, and he of Brescia and Veronese might give his blessing. He passed that way, Siddith Peshiera, fortress fair and strong, to front the Bressians and the Bergamasks, where round about the bank descendeth Lois. There of necessity must fall whatever in bosom of Banaco cannot stay, and grows a river down through verdant pastures. Soon as the water doth begin to run, no more Banaco it is called, but Minixio, far as Governo, where it falls in Po. Not far it runs before it finds a plain, in which it spreads itself and makes it marshy, and oft tis wont in summer to be sickly. Passing that way the virgin pitiless land in the middle of the fen descried untilled and naked of inhabitants untilled and naked of inhabitants so nobody lives there the land isn't tilled nothing's growing there grass is just going nuts there to escape all human intercourse she with her servant stayed her arts to practice and lived and left her empty body there the men thereafter, who were scattered round, collected in that place which was made strong by the lagoon it had on every side. They built their city over those dead bones, and after her who first the place selected, Matuana named it with, without other omen. So they built a city for these people die? His people once within more crowded were, eerie the stupidity of... Casalodi from Pinamonte had received deceit. Therefore I caution thee, if ere thou hearest originate my city otherwise, no falsehood may they verily defraud. And I, my master, thy discourses are to me so certain, and so take my faith, that unto me the rest would be spent coals. But tell me of the people who are passing. If any one noteworthy thou beholdest, for only unto that my mind reverts. Yeah, kind of like your mind does want to know, like, is there anybody of note there? Then he said to me, 
He who from the cheek thrusts out his beard upon his swarthy shoulders was at the time when Greece was void of males, so that there scarce remained one in the cradle, an augur, and with the calchas gave the moment. In Olis, one to sever the first cable. Eryphilus, his name was, and so sings my lofty tragedy, and some part or other that knowest thou well, knowest the whole of it. So when Greece was void of males, in their mythology. The next, who is so slender in the flanks, was Michael Scott. <laughs> That's funny, Michael Scott is also the name of the office character. Who of a variety of magical illusions knew the game. Behold Guido Bonatti, behold Asdente, who now unto his leather and his thread would fain have stuck. But he too late repents. Behold the wretched ones who left the needle, the spool and rock, and made them fortune tellers. They wrought their magical spells with herbs and image, but come now for already holds the confines of both the hemispheres and under Seville touches the ocean wave, cane and the thorns. And yesternight the moon was round already. Thou shouldst remember well it did not harm thee from time to time. Within the deep forest thus spake he to me, and he walked a little while. Interesting. A lot of name droppings. We would be need to be familiar with these figures. In Italian history, right? The pitiless virgin mentioning the lagoon on every side, building a city of the dead bones. We have a lot to think about in terms of geography. So if I were you, I would go through and see if you can find on a map these places. See how pretty they are. It's a scary thought to think of a place being void of males, and he says not even in the, not even in the cradle. That's intense. Quite scary. It'd be a sad time if there was no males around. I'd argue. Hope you enjoyed that reading. I absolutely think this is unique, and it's a classic in Italian literature. Uh, you you're gonna come across him. And it's really important to have a bit of culture, see what's going on, you know, see why certain works last for so long in the human record. I hope you enjoyed. Please join my blog. It's www.subscribestar.com slash Hope to see you there.